in the public eye. The clash between Billboard Chris and the LGBTQ groomer in Sydney has sparked a vibrant discussion, highlighting the intersection of public space and individual rights. What's up, everybody? Billboard Chris here. I'm in beautiful, magnificent Sydney, Australia, having conversations on Oxford Street, which is apparently the home of the LGBTQ community. And I'm having a great time. Yeah. And as you see, I have a woman telling me I can't film on a public you street. Ask anybody to film out front of our hotel. I don't need your permission. This is public property. No, this is private property. And if I'm not inside your building. It matter. You're not allowed to film out your Well, you can call the cops because I'm not going anywhere. Bye bye. Have a nice day. You're the real fucking groomer. Thanks, bro. Love you. He called me a groomer. Let's finish that off. That was my first take. As you can see, I'm having amazing conversations here on Oxford Street. And I came to this community because historically, if you look at the kids who suffered from this distress associated with their gender, a lot of them grew up to be gay. So they've passed this conversion therapy bill here in New South Wales. They've passed one in Victoria. They've passed these in other states in Australia. But what these bills actually are, they're not banning conversion therapy. They're ensuring it's happening because they're harming kids who would grow up to be gay confused kids who don't conform to sexist progressive stereotypes of what it means to be a boy or a girl. They're being told they're trans and they're never going to find true happiness unless they transition. So all these people with purple hair can yell at me all they want. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to have conversations on this magnificent street. And look who's here with me today. Anna McGovern. High five. <laughs> this sparks a broader societal conversation, delving into the delicate balance between public and private domains and the freedom of individuals to express themselves openly in public spheres. At the heart of the debate lies Billboard Chris's staunch defense of his right to film in public spaces, coupled with his critique of laws surrounding conversion therapy. Chris's vocal stance on participating in public discourse and airing his perspectives aligns with conservative principles advocating for individual liberties and resisting excessive government oversight or censorship. The clash also unveils intricate social dynamics, including perceptions of authority, social norms, and group identities. It prompts exploration into how personal beliefs and values influence reactions to challenges against one's authority or worldview, and the role of societal norms in governing behavior within public spaces.